Michelin, a better way forward. In the quads category, the Yamaha squad holds out on the competition as it's been the case before in recent years, and with Marcos Patronelli as leader, the domination has been undisputed since stage 2. The Argentine winner of the 2010 Dakar took the fifth stage, a fourth stage success in a row. Sebastian Husseini, his closest pursuer so far, was for his part delayed by a mechanical problem and conceded several hours to Patronelli in Arica. That made a local rider, Chile's Ignacio Casale, the new provisional runner-up of the famous Argentine, one hour and 18 seconds adrift. However, Patronelli has to remain cautious. Anything can happen in a rally. In Calama, Ignacio Casale was the fastest on home soil. Patronelli finished second. Casale reduced the gap with Patronelli and after stage 6, the Argentine's lead was still rather comfortable, a little over one hour and 11 minutes. In the tracks category, there are many more comings and goings. On Wednesday, Alice Lopres lost the overall lead, about 20 kilometers to the finish line. The Czech driver got stuck in the fesh fesh. Gerard de Roy, the previous leader, stepped back on his seat in Areca. The pressure from his opponents didn't lower. Nico Alaev, second of the stage on Wednesday, behind on Stacy, was then only 5 minutes and 33 seconds adrift. On Thursday, De Roy, the title holder, reached his fourth crash of this Dakar, but the camera's tracks become more and more consistent. Nikolaev was at a slower pace during stage 6 and at the GC he was 18 minutes 40 behind De Roy and Russia's Mardayev was 30 minutes 32 adrift. But during this stage, De Roy's teammate Hans Stacy had a spectacular accident, a front turnover, impressive but slightly unwanted. Fortunately, Stacy managed to get the help he needed and restart, but with a 4-hour delay, he's quite certain not to see the top of the GC anymore.